In a moment, Yuri, when I signal you, you play. All of a sudden, I came upon the creator bent over like the statue of the thinker. As I approached this beautiful creation of the creator, I fell to the floor for fear of the greatness before me and landed on the cold, wet marble floor. I realized that God was crying. I reached over, ever so slowly to grab a hold of his white flowing robe and whispered, please God, my dear, wonderful, beautiful God, don't cry, please don't cry. And he said to me, don't be afraid, my son. Come a little closer. I've always loved you and that's why I'm crying. I'm crying because I knew this would happen. There are those among you who will not listen. Even when they discover that there is great peril to themselves, they go forward, even though I have given them all the answers. I could and would protect them, but they have reason that they are the superior force and that I, God, am an abstraction, something to be wished for, but not real. That's why I'm crying, because I see you crawling on the floor in fear of my holiness, and they refuse to see what you see, what you feel, and what you are experiencing right now. What you are experiencing now is the action of stepping into that space, the realization that I do exist. You have stepped from the darkness into the light. How did you do that? God asked. I made the leap of faith at a very young age. Somehow, I knew that you would embrace me with your protection and your love. You have always been beside me in war, in love, in life. When I sing to you and of you, you have always been a part of me. I recognized you immediately. You have never been a stranger to me. You have always loved me. I have always loved you. And that is why when I leave this mortal place, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Yuri. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.